Hey guys, Bobby Jean here. This is Jean's Therapy. Thank you for watching. Hope you are having a fantastic 2018 so far. Here I am relaxing and sunny and not so cold. Cocoa Beach, Florida. You know, I did a video of why I chose this RV compared to others that I had researched before hitting the road as a full-time RV traveler. Uh, well, there's a very large and growing genre out there that I failed to mention. Uh, I very much realized that when many of the viewers commented telling me about uh, this RV option and how they are currently planning it themselves. I therefore didn't hesitate when a longtime friend of mine invited me to take a look at his very unique and beautiful RV timepiece. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a 1957 flexible Starliner. Given a new life, converted from a passenger transport to a beautiful motor home. Its Art Deco design and sleek line harkens back the days where style and a futuristic look resonated through everything from kitchen appliances to cars and buses. From 1957 to 59, the Flexible Company manufactured 100 Starliner models that incorporates the factory raised roof and the eyebrow window. Currently, only five roadworthy Starliner models remain. Two are located in Australia and three in the USA. This specific flexible model is considered by collectors to be the most desirable. Bobby G, welcome aboard. Come on and take a ride on my 1957 Flexible Starliner. The proud owner of this beautiful timepiece is none other than Andy Park, the original, the true gadget guru. You may remember him from NBC's Today Show and others. So first impression, it rides better than my RV. So now, you, you, this is uh, Cummins diesel now. It used to be originally a gas engine on this bus. After the conversion, it, uh, they put in a Cummins diesel and also the generator is, yeah. is it's a Cummins diesel. Cummins diesel, Allison six speed, uh, double overdrive transmission. And when they, when they put the generator, and it's back there in the uh, luggage compartment, there's a separate fuel tank for the generator. Then, uh, the, and, in addition to the one there is for the engine. So when I go into a fuel station, the, the nozzles are about seven, eight feet apart. Unless I position perfectly, I might have to move up a couple of feet to the generator first and the engine second. But this is very easy to fill up. The problem is when I get to a fuel station, I gotta hand out those brochures because you get a lot of people coming up and they say, tell me about the bus. I remember that from my childhood. <laughs> well, the biggest question is, what year is it? Well, if you look on the back, the license plate says 57 bucks. Yep, there's no question when they pass you. This is a 57 Flex. This Starliner was originally equipped to transport 29 passengers with a removable jump seat to accommodate the needs of its first owner, the Union Pacific Railroad. It was designed to transport passengers to and from railroad stations to popular Idaho ski resorts. The oversized full-width rear storage room was utilized as a baggage room for passenger luggage and, of course, skis. I believe that this is an, air, an airplane style cockpit, uh, but I like having all the analog gauge, gauges. They're easy to view. You know, you have the shutter that opens and closes the lid. You know, it's kind of like a ram air over the top, you know, to keep the engine cool. Um, everything just happens to work well. Oh, I say work. Well, I got a tap to get that. I won't be See, I have plenty of power. But everything's laid out real well. I do have an exhaust brake on here. And, and here, I'll show you the difference. Right here, the exhaust brake is off. Notice it feels like a three-wheeler. But when I turn it on, it really slows you down well. And wow. It it Without even touching the brake, it was slowing us down quite quickly. Yeah, that's great for stop and go traffic. I tell you, I am really surprised. I expected this to ride like a bus. And it doesn't. It rides like a modern day uh, upper high end um, RV motor. It, it, it's funny. You say rides like a bus. To RVers, 
bus is like a four-letter word, but when you look at the whole picture of the world of motorboats, buses are the high end. You know, if you look at the way these are built, if you take an RV, it's built on a flat platform, and they build it like a house. They put aluminum stud walls, and they drop it down. These are built cages. I mean, they're designed for safety. Even back then, when this was built in 57, in the late 50s, that they're designed in safety and passenger comfort in mind. RVs today are built, I don't even know what, what the mode is, because the, uh, I'm, as you can tell, I'm very disappointed in the RV industry these days. That's why I not only have one, but two buses, because I want something that's gonna be solid, that's gonna keep me and the passengers safe. But we're traveling at highway speeds going around the country. Okay, let me show you the interior. Analog gauges, nicely laid out. They show you everything from fluid levels to pressures to temperatures. Controls for the automatic Allison transmission and every light switch. Generator controls, the overhead mirror, digital clock, RV systems indicators, and of course, the rear view camera. The bus was purchased by the Moffett Brothers Transportation Company uh, in the mid 60s and they owned it until 2002. Mr. Moffat, the owner of the company, used this bus for special occasions and drove it himself in parades and utilized it also to transport uh, Hollywood movie stars to filming locations. When Mr. Moffat owned the Starliner, it included a 471 Detroit engine and a 4850 Spicer 5-speed transmission with overdrive. In 2002, a two-year restoration from a passenger bus to a fully functional motor home was completed. A modern drivetrain was added that consisted of a Cummins ISC 8.3 liter turbo diesel engine with 800 foot-pounds of torque at 1100 RPM and an Allison 6-speed double overdrive transmission. A diesel generator was added along with central air conditioning and gas and electric heating systems. In 2017, Andy entered his flexible into the 11th annual Boca Raton Concours de la and won the People's Choice Award. And as far as he knows, the only one ever given to a bus. Attention to detail abounds. Blue LED lights, accent lights, and spotlights. Andy's personal touches can be seen everywhere. The bedroom provides a split twin bed layout with television and closet space. I was actually surprised how roomy the bathroom was, as well as the shower. Plenty of room to move around. The restoration was nearly completed when the 9-11 tragedy shocked the world. The Lynx created the red, white, and blue paint scheme as a tribute to America and as a reminder of the firefighters and the first responders who sacrificed their lives saving others. So Andy, I want to thank you for taking time out of your day and taking us along to look at your fabulous, beautiful, amazing 57 Flexible. Uh, probably okay, it's my pleasure. And uh, many people, you know, may not know this that that you know we met through the old website, Tavog.net. You know, when I created that thing, I got to meet people like you and a bunch of other great people that even now, years later, I know you still write. Many of us don't write anymore. That we still reconnect in other parts of our life, and that's just a wonderful thing. So thanks for coming by. I hope you enjoyed the ride. I absolutely did, and once again, I just thank you very much for this opportunity. And if you want to know more about Andy Parr, the Gadget Guru, go to gadgetguru.com. All right, let's head into town for a quick little viewer meetup. I appreciate my viewers and all of your kind comments. If I happen to be passing through your town, give me a shout. Maybe we can meet up. Nice to meet you, Bobby Jean. Nice to meet you too. Thank you for coming out. So, please allow me to introduce you to Noreen. She has been one of my loyal and faithful viewers since the channel has started. I uh, consider her like one of the core group uh, viewers, and uh, we were able to come together here in Orlando and do a little meetup. Bobby Jean, nice pleased to meet, meet you. you. So, uh, tell us a little bit uh, about your uh, aspirations to full time travel. I would like to someday full time travel and I found your videos through Pippi's um, vlogs yeah. and I watch other vloggers as well um, but I, I really would like someday to be able to travel full time. I think the one video of yours that really got me like to really want to do it is when you went to Glacier and you were you were vide videoing there and I, I was like I gotta go to Glacier I gotta got add her that to my list. Glacier. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I'm really glad that uh, the videos proved to be entertainment and, and useful to you in a way to where it inspires you. There's a lot of commenters out there on the, the videos that uh, are also wanting to uh, go full-time travel one day. And uh, it's videos, travel logs like mine and Pippi's that um, really get the blood pumping because you yeah. really just want to get out there and travel and see the world and, and live life to its fullest because it's so rewarding, isn't it? They're definitely inspiring. Uh, can you think of another place that you want me to go that you want to see? Oh, good question. I was going to ask you where you were going next. <laughs> <laughs> Probably somewhere out west, um, only because I've spent my life on the east coast, so I've seen quite a bit. Somewhere out west, but I'm not quite sure. I don't know, maybe Grand Canyon? Grand Canyon, hmm. Well, I really love going through the desert, especially when uh, in between season changes. And uh, I don't know why, but it, the, the desert is very beautiful. It's romantic, it's, uh, it, it calls me. So Grand Canyon could be on the list. I'll keep you posted. Great. And uh, I'll, let, I'll give you a heads up if I'm heading that way. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure spending <laughs> nice a little bit of time you. with you. Thank you for meeting up with me. Thanks. And uh, we'll see you back in the comment section. Okay, great. <laughs> wow, a 1957 flexible Starliner. Only two of them left in this country. That was one of them. I hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. Thank you again, Andy, for that rare treat. I very much appreciate it. Thanks, Noreen, for coming out and meeting us. And thank you for being here. Click on one of these things to follow me on, on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and this YouTube channel here. Subscribe for more therapy. Remember, I'm Bobby Jean, and this is my therapy. Hey, Bobby, here's something for you. Ready? Holy moly. It's like a freight train.